Pimp was a big Tupac fan. Uh, that was one of the reasons that, that Too Short said in an interview that he didn't he didn't, uh, didn't want to go down there and do the Jay Z thing because he he had a picture of, of Pac on the wall. He look up at that picture and he just wouldn't do it. Well, you know, Pimp was a very peculiar individual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You did that song, I always said, bitches who will, you got. Can you remember that verse when you said, hey, man, listen, some of them like classic coke. Oh, yeah, can I you said, remember different that? different folks. Some like Pepsi, some like coke. Me, I'm a classic coke, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't deal with the generation, the, the Pepsi, the, that's the new generation. I said, black bitches, darker day, white bitches, brighter day. You know what I'm saying? I want me, I like them light bright, but the Candy strike, you know what I'm saying? Me and also said, yeah. I said, yeah, man. The only thing that a, a black bitch could do is pick, push the car while me and the white man in the 600 bins. The black bitch could hold up the black walls on that 600 bins because pimp liked for me. And then you to, said to something about I like my old famous, like like. I, nah, nah, I, I say no, nah, no. Nah, I say, I say I'm famous like Amos. Only one thing: Amos bake Amos bake cookies and Pepper Ken break rookies. How did you come up with all this man, like that, man? man? I promise you, eat on that every day. I love. None of this shit. None of this. <laughs> only thing rehearsed is the uh, is the curse on the host purse, man. I don't I don't re, I don't rehearse this shit. I'm just off, you know. But you know, off being, the dome. But you gotta remember, from 16 to now, you know, that's a lot of years of yeah. you know popping that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know. uh you know, a lot of times, man, you know, it's like a rapper, you know what I'm saying, freestyling. You just freestyling, you know what I'm saying, me, like, you know, I don't know, I mean, I'm a, we might be talking or something, and you might break up a subject, then I could just come Roll into the top of my it. head, you know. And then a lot of stuff, you know, if I said it before, I'll say it over and over again, you know, as as it relates. Yeah, um, when you were, and I don't even know if you ever talked about it, but a Bun, I think he's talked about it. Um, I know Bobo talked about it because he said when they listened to that Me Against the World album, he said they cut the lights off in the house. That's how much they was in the Tupac. All of them was at the house in Port Arthur. I remember B B uh, Bobo telling me that story, and they just listened at that thing. You know, when you first get that album. Yeah, you know. um, Pimp was a big Tupac fan. Uh, that was one of the reasons that, that Too Short said in an interview that he uh, didn't. He didn't want to go down there and do the Jay Z thing because he he had a picture of, of, of Pac on the wall. He look up at that picture, and he just wouldn't do it. Well, you know, Pimp was a very peculiar individual. You know what I'm saying? You know, Supreme. You know, he used to love my kids. You know, they used to play with uh, Pimp all the time, and Pimp used to always, you know, he told him he gonna put him in their wheel and everything. So, you know, when I I did songs with Pimp, we was in the garage, the studio, Mike Mo. We did something in a million dollar studio in California. And uh, every time I noticed Pimp, he would be listening to old school music. And he, he'd be always doing like this. And he'd be listening for the, the beats. And he, he you know, he kind of like, that shit jam, man. That's funky, you know. he say, man, put a little, you know, Rick Jane on. And, you know, so as he he, he putting all these different uh, older songs on, and he's making this beat. And if you notice, if you listen to Pimp C music, you can hear a lot of that old funk in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I actually seen the process of how he do it. You know what I'm saying? Me and you know, sometimes like I remember me and him and Jay -Z, Jazzy Faye was sitting in there. We was in there. Uh, that's when the Jay Z actually subject came up. Me, him, Jazzy, uh, uh, Paper Chase, Maroy, and Jazzy Faye. We was sitting in the in, in the thing, and him and Jazzy Faye was looking. And Jazzy Faye was just like they was just jamming, man. They was playing old school music, and then they actually put a beat together. You know, that shit was kind of amazing to me. So, you know, my creative side of seeing Pimp, I never seen him shut the lights off, but I seen him re revert to a lot of old school shit, you know, to to come up with his 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 funk, you know. And like I said, you know, he, every time I was in the studio with him, you know, he he would never let me be creative. He'd just say, do you. That's all he said, do you. You know, if you it, it, remember at the end of that song, you just asked me about, I said, y'all chop it up how y'all want to chop yeah, it up. Yeah, you did say that. You know that. what I'm saying? Because, because he, he never chopped anything up. He played it. He he put it out exactly how. Even with my stutter, he didn't put no mix and no, he didn't clean up or nothing. And that's just how it was. And you know, he thought that you know, I, like you know, because I asked him, said, Pimp, man, you could have got my little glitches out." He said, "No, nah, kid, man, that's what makes it sound good." He was just that intelligent, and that actually ended up being one of the best intros. Oh and outros. man, what everybody you say? talk about that one, and I'm like, "You didn't like the one with me and Jermaine Dupree?" <laughs> you know that one. Oh. Jermaine had that shit popping. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.